happy Thursday. Okay, so where are we this week? Well, the house is getting emptied. As you can tell, the beautiful mystical space we had before um, is fading away. Our furniture is getting moved over to the new place on Saturday. I think I'm going to pre-record a video for next week so that I haven't got stressed about getting the office uh, sorted, well, the studio sorted in the time <laughs> of like a few days. So I'm going to pre-record one for next week for you. Um, I was going to put a video of the new house on this video for you. However, the Wi-Fi people said, oh, yeah, 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 no problem. We'll get your Wi-Fi changed on the 7th of September. So it's like, oh, brilliant. That gives me a whole week of getting readings out, not worrying about the Wi-Fi. And I woke up this morning and they took it off. So I tried to upload the video of the house for you all um, to the, um, you know, laptop and it hasn't worked because there's no Wi-Fi. Um, so I think we're going to probably have to wait till we move in for me to actually show you around the house. Um, I put some pictures on my personal Instagram. If you haven't found that, you want to follow me. It's just Ali Marie 86 uh, It says private. Um, but you can come and just follow me. It's absolutely fine. I have no problem with that at all. Uh, I keep it private because I like to maintain a little bit of privacy in my personal life. But if you want to come and have a look um, and you can see some of the pictures of the house, I just can't upload a video for you, which is really, really frustrating because I thought you'd all like to see. Anyway, that's why we're a bit bare, a bit barren, why it's dark, uh, why nothing is really, it's all looking a bit funny in this room. So, Today we are going to do have they caught feelings for you. So this is going to work with you and your person, the person that you are thinking about. And we're going to see if they have developed any kind of feelings for you, which is pretty cool. Deck number one and deck number two, go to the deck that you're most drawn to. And once you find the deck you're most drawn to, feel your heart-centered energy towards your person. Feel those emotions, energy, and push it to the deck you are drawn to. And if you can't work clairsentinently, um, which is the sensing, work with your clairvoyance. So seeing a pink or a green colour going towards the deck you're most drawn to. What's happening at the moment as we're doing that is you're pushing your mutual energy of everyone involved into the decks that you like. And that's how we read. We read on the strongest mutual energy between you all. OK, so if anything doesn't resonate, obviously just remember it for a later date because it normally flags up just a little bit later. Date number one. Let's do this. So how's your person? caught feelings for you let's have a look so it's been a really really kind of stressful week for for us um bump is is good he's doing well um, i've got another midwife appointment on friday just endless house baby pack unpack <laughs> is that your person for me can we get into your person's their person's thoughts because it's energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of that number one. Okay, my guide is saying two more. Okay, so the first thing that's happening as I'm going into the energy is we're getting a song. Now, I don't know how many of you watched Outlander. <laughs> I haven't watched it for years. I started, I used to quite like it, um, especially kind of being druid with the stones, etc. Um, but as it went further along, I kind of lost interest in it a bit. I didn't really watch it. Um, but the start song of it, where it says, sing me a song of a last that is gone, say, could that last be I? Um, my friend, she told me, she's from Scotland, and she told me she had to play it on the recorder at school. I was like, God help everyone in that room. <laughs> um, but that song coming forward of you guys, that you've really kind of gone through some transitions and some changes in your own energy at the moment. Has that person caught their feeling, caught feelings for them? Has that person caught feelings? Bump's getting too big for you to keep falling on the floor. Has their person caught feelings for them? I'm actually just going to get... Okay, we'll do that. Four, five, six, we'll get six. I was going to do five, but 
the cards decided otherwise. So we have six cards and the overall feeling of the, the energy coming from these cards is a positive one. There is a kind of a warmth really residing in my heart um, as I'm looking at these cards. So there is this sense of a love between you guys. And it's really interesting with the cards that you've got two of cups kind of flying in at the end. So this is like your love card, your true love card, your emotional card, your bond, your connection. Um, and so the love that you two share, it's here. So yeah, your person has caught feelings from you. And if you want to turn the video off, that's kind of where we could start. They have caught feelings for you. Um, they can see a future with you. They can see a family with you. Um, there has been this kind of ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. More, well, kind of in both of your lives, but separately. So not together, Spirit is saying. So what they mean by that is you both gone through these kind of hard challenging times and you're getting ready to be into a place now where you can come together where you're both feeling um, a lot more secure and stable so in other words they've sorted their shit you sorted your shit and you're going to be meeting in the middle and that's what their plan is their hopes their aspirations and their dreams are they can see a future with you they would love to have a future with you and we're talking like i'm not talking you know, mediocre future, oh, it might happen, it might not. We're talking the whole families, babies, white picket fence, everything that, you know, people want in their lives that if we were going to go with the normal kind of society version of wanting, but don't get me started on that, that's a different story. So you have all of this here. Um, so straight off the bat, there is this sense of emotions and feelings for you, um, absolutely caught feelings for you. You are in their mind quite a lot. Uh, reflecting on one another as well, Spirit are saying. So what they mean by that is both of you are kind of mirroring and echoing the energy towards one another. Again, you've both been in dark places um, in the not so recent past, perhaps a little bit further in the past. Um, you've both been in this heavy, dark places and you're both seeing the light now kind of coming out the other side. Um, and there's that sense of freedom that comes from that. It's freedom to express emotions, freedom to express your feelings for each other. Um, and freedom over the situation that it, you can work towards this okay so maybe it's difficult situations you know you're all in very different circumstances but perhaps third party connections are ending if you're in a third party um if you're not it's just that you know situations will come to a close and you're working towards the future and this is what they want they want this, they want to break out of the cycle. So we have the Wheel of Fortune over here as well, talking very much about stepping out of the wheel, breaking out of the cycle that you guys have been in and turning towards a brighter future. Um, so this is what they want as well. They want all of this. This is where they're, you know, if we're going to ask what does your person want from you, they want the, the house, the family, the, the strong unit between you guys and breaking out of the cycle. Um. It's almost as if kind of they've been throwing the dice waiting for the lock to come in and now it looks like your guys, your lock has come in with your person. Big, big shifts, big, big changes. And this is why this card is coming up as well. There's been a choice made on this and this choice that has been made is the two of you coming together. The bond, the connection, the love, okay? The yin and yang, the light, the dark, the right, the wrong, the good, the bad. That energy is aligning with both of you because you have the Hierophant over here, okay? So the Hierophant talking very much about the spiritual connection, but also with these cards, the alignment of your energy. And with the lovers, this is layers. You've also got the passion. You've got the chemistry. You've got the bond. You've got the sexual drive, the sexual energy, and a choice being made on it. Again, that choice is to aligning your energies and going towards what they want, which is you. So, right off the bat, off the reading, have they caught feelings for you? Yes, they absolutely have. Absolutely have. Are they going to express those feelings to you? Let's just pull some more. Let's, just, let's go a little bit deeper. Are they going to express their feelings towards that number one? I've still got this uh, steroid nasal spray for my weird ears since I got since I got pregnant, my ears have been so dodgy. And it, I have just done it before I started the reading. It's, it's tickling the nose. Will they express their feelings? So your person will express their feelings when they are in a feeling in a very secure place. So the more you two bond, connect, go with the flow of it, ride the rhythm of life, 
Your person is going to start feeling more stable with the connection. You're going to be working towards a future. And once that happens, that's when they're going to express their feelings. At the moment, right now, with the Seven of Wands kind of jumping in at the start of this, they're not going to do it just yet. Reason for this is because they're still looking, even, even though you're moving into this more positive direction, they're still looking a little bit to places that have happened, things that have happened in the past, uh, places that have happened in the past, spirits have places. So both these two energies kind of coming forward, they will express their feelings towards you, um, just not yet. You might find that they express them uh, with emotions rather than words so with um creating those actions reason for that again is because in the past they've expressed emotions to people and they felt very very vulnerable with regard to their situations uh, but now you have a progression route very clearly over here and it is a much more stable very very stable lots of reds for your root chakra lots of stability you've got how many cards have we got out here now we've got five six seven eight nine and you've got one two three four five of them very root chakra orientated so very stability very security very sexual very passionate energy with you guys the other foot cards colors that we've got that are really predominantly coming through are the greens and the blues for your heart chakra so the love you share and your throat chakra for your communication open communication between you guys and then with the ten of pentacles over here with the yellow uh, this is your solar plexus. I always get solar plexus and sacral mixed up when I'm trying to think which one it is. Um, the yellow for that for your self-confidence, okay? With the oranges, predominantly the oranges and reds ruling this, this spread as well, uh, often to do with the liquids in your physical body. So do make sure that you're keeping your fluid intake up. Um, also, again, liquids very sexual energy coming forward over here if we're going to go a little bit naughty you've got the physical side of things as well that very strong chemistry and connection so has your person got feelings for you absolutely will they express them when the time is right they will do definitely okay guys lots of love and i will speak to you soon have a totally blessed week thanks for bearing with me with the emptiness of the house um like I said, I'm probably going to pre-record one for next week. So it might look a bit bare after that uh, next week. And then hopefully it's going to get um, a bit more alive again. I, I moved my, I haven't got a picture. I moved the, my, my black, I have a black Jaguar uh, painting that my cousin did. And oh my God, it's just beautiful. And I haven't had it on display here because the walls have been so small. And I'm going to do the, the room um i'm hoping to do it kind of like indigo colors and my black jag is indigo so he's like black with this indigo luck colors all around him he's no he's he's indigo with black colors all around him oh he's absolutely beautiful um, and i think he'll fit really well into the into the office into the, the studio i got some like indigo curtains with like stars on them as well so i thought it would work really really well and um, so that's the theme i'm going down and then i want to get some um shelving units that are indigo because at the moment the decks have been in this really haggard old dvd case <laughs> that i've been carrying around for like 15 years and it was about to break so i bashed it all in or got my partner to bash it all in so we could uh, get rid of it and now the decks haven't got a home other than boxes really so i want to get some nice display units for that anyway I'm going to take a little bit of time to get sorted and then once all the house is sorted I've got to sort out the nursery because I've only got like what how many months three months in my third trimester now uh three months just <laughs> so I've got to get all that sorted as well so really really hectic times going on but you'll be glad to know I am still doing readings I am still around so if you want me you want a book absolutely fine no delays on turnarounds um in fact it's probably quite a good time to book because like I said um, I've been focusing so much on the house. I haven't talked uh, the turnaround time is down a little bit. It's quite a good time to book. Okay, guys, love you lots, and I will speak to you next week. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in, and turned on, um, I was explaining that obviously we are in between house moves at the moment, which is why this room is looking a little bit different. Um, I was going to put a video of the house onto this, but they've took the Wi-Fi off me this morning, which is really unhelpful when your job is online. Um, 
they said, oh, it'll be the 7th of September, but alas, we are, what, the 31st of October? And we have no Wi-Fi, so I'm using a hotspot at the moment to do the uploads. Think about your person for you to get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your person. So we're looking at have they caught feelings for you. Now, the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear, and you know how like spirit, higher vibrational guides like to start off with a song. We're starting off with Avril Lavigne. And we're starting off with, um, he was a skater boy. I said, see you later, boy. And I don't know if any of you guys were like me and super cool at school that you were absolutely obsessed with Avril Lavigne that you used to wear your scarves <laughs> with your big wide black trousers um, and your big netted leggings because I was so rock and roll, you know? Uh, but that song kind of coming forward into your energy. So the reason why that song is coming forward is there's a very light energy going on around you around you both a very kind of playful energy happening with you guys um and it really just kind of take us back in time a little bit to when things were not so heavy not so hard not so difficult and that's why you're getting that song as your your song for deck number two how's the person they're thinking of caught feelings for them so i'm going to just get six cards he was a skater boy, he said see you later boy. <laughs> For your third parties as well out there, um, you would know about that if you are a third party, so you'll know who I'm talking to. Uh, that's quite interesting because he was a skater boy, he said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for here. So it looks like a third party kind of sh big shifts happening for you guys as well. Have they caught feelings for deck number one? Yeah, two. Deck number two, have they caught feelings? Oh, how fabulous is this? So I'm going to pull six cards. The first four you've got are all major arcana. Five cards are all major arcana. One card out of the whole six cards that I've pulled one card is minor the others are major so as we're going into the energy straight away we have a very very strong situation going on with you guys and this is likely to be someone from your past okay the six of cups over here and um, not all of you but the majority of you this is someone that you probably have past experiences with someone that you've fallen in love with um past energy coming forward and with skater boy at the first there's a sense of nostalgia 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 with this connection that's what spirit is saying okay um big 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 energy happening with you both major situations, major things going on. So you may have found recently that this situation was a little bit stagnant, the hanged man over here. You may have found that it was a little bit stagnant. Now it's really interesting, the only card jumping up in reverse is the hanged man and he was sitting next to the six of cups. So if we look at this position wise, this is saying that there is a shift in your energetic connection as the past comes back towards you. So rebonding, reconnecting, shifting that energy forward between you both. There is a love. Um, there is a love. And with that spirit also giving me where is the love by Black Eyed Peas. But that's not to do with the two of you. That's to do with the whole spirit, the whole world at the moment. So you're getting a, a worldly song coming in as well. But I will pass over directly what they say. So you have this shifting in the energetic frequency between you both. Anywhere where this situation has been stuck, stagnant, not really moving, you've got a change in that dynamic now as you both move yourself forward from it. This person hasn't forgotten you. This person has always thought about you, has always cared about you. And now you have this very strong longing energy coming forward from them. So... Have they caught feelings for you? 
this person has always been there really you know like i said the strongest mutual energy from you all this is someone from your past um and this person has always had these feelings for you so it's not something new you know it's not something new it is kind of the same the same energy coming forward and this can be seen with this wheel of fortune card over here wheel of fortune uh, deck number one had it as well often speaks of cycles chain you know that that kind of wheel going round and round and round just as you know um paddy mcginnis would play it the wheel of fortune goes round and round and round and then it lands on the right place which is when you would win and this is kind of what's been happening with you guys. You've been playing a bit of a Wheel of Fortune game that's been going round and round in a circle. Not much has happened. And then suddenly the dynamic has shifted on it or is about to. And where it's stuck, it's moving forward. And there is a coming together with this. There is some form of union reconciliation between you both. Not technically what you asked if they have caught feelings, but really important for you to know that the feelings have never gone away. And we can see that with the two swans at the bottom over here, very twin flame energetic sign. And um, they're not sitting together making that heart shape just yet, but they are heading in the right direction. So this love of you two of you is coming together. It's like you've been biding your time with this, waiting to see if anything happens. The owl at the top, Minerva's owl, symbolizing the wisdom that you have gained from the connection but also the changes that are happening around you both. Now, I don't know if you have ever noticed that when major changes are going on, you can often hear owls. Um, I live in the city now, <laughs> so I don't hear them as much, but when I go to the countryside, um, when I moved house here last time, when I moved last time, how many moves have we had since I've been on YouTube? Two, it's my second wave. Um, but the owl will symbolise those changes. And I used to hear an owl at night time just as I was about to move. Um, also with that, pay attention to 555s. 555s really is the frequency of creating shifts in energetic environments, which shows changes and shifts in the connection with you guys. So you're moving things forward. We've also got the magician, the high priestess and the moon. Major, major, major shit, <laughs> major shit <laughs> happening over here. Uh, High Priestess, your energy, magician, you're aligning with your person, the moon, intuition, really kind of coming forward with intuition. Um, you might have found that perhaps in the past, this person, you might have felt that they were hiding things from you or just not quite being themselves with the moon coming up over here. But that energy is really shifted away now. All those fears that have amalgamated in your energy help, are starting to fade away and you're getting ready to take the next chapter with your person. A sense of release of things from the past. So the negative energy of things happening in the past of you guys is fading away as the positive energy is stepping in towards you both. Um, we've got this kind of red thread of destiny going on over this woman as well. So, you know, uh, the Japanese speak of the red thread of destiny where the two of you are like linked and lined and the, the pull, no matter where you go, what you do, your energy will always kind of pull back to one another. And it's the same as what I say about the helix same kind of energy you pull away your energy bounces back towards one another and that's what's happening here there is an alignment in your energy so your person is on their way back which isn't what we asked for if they caught feelings for you but um it's really interesting that you know that those feelings have always been there so let's just ask are they going to express their feelings towards you in our deck number two, are there people going to express their emotions? That's a hand slip. Are they going to express their emotions? So what they are going to do is they are going to tell you that they've been fed up, that life hasn't been going too well for them, um, that they don't, they didn't really know what they wanted, they weren't really sure of it, um, and so they make that movement towards you. They might come forward with a little bit more of a sexual energy, rather, well, they are likely, because we've got a page of one staring at me at the top, they are likely to come towards you with a bit more of a sexual energy than a romantic energy. The um, reason for that is because sometimes it's easier for your people to talk about chemistry, connection, sex with you than talking about their emotions. Because when they talk about emotions, it really kind of bears deep. And if we were looking at the cards you had before, you had the moon card and that is that energetic, you know, bearing deep that they're not quite ready to do that. 
but we have got movement coming in with the knight of wands sexual energy a little bit non-committal coming towards you but messages definitely flying in ace of wands passionate energy coming forward um they will tell you if they are going to talk about their their emotions the emotions they will highlight is that they've been fed up and that they missed you they're not they're probably not going to say i'm totally in love with you let's have a future um they're going to be a bit more cautious than that which is why they might go down oh i've never been so attracted to anyone you know me better than anyone um i've missed you that kind of energy rather than i love you i want to be with you let's make a house and babies you know you'll get more of the sexual side of things um but they will communicate some form of their emotions towards you it's just that they're likely to be a little bit more masked um, and spirit keep clairvoyantly showing me the moon card so masking those emotions towards you by using sexual energy instead and that is deck number two. So if you need me, drop me a message. All details and bookings are on the website. Turnaround time is uh, seven to 14 days at the moment. But bear in mind, I am moving house. So actually, um, it's a little bit quieter, which you wouldn't believe, but because I was trying to uh, quieten down on the readings so that we could get the move done, I have got more spaces coming up. So you might get your reading a little bit quicker. Uh, uh, that's for videos anyway. Email readings are still 24 to 48. 24 to 48 hours um, return time getting it back to you over email um also do instagram voice messages um on mystic love tarot if you wanted a voice clip um of your email questions and again that's 24 to 48 hours okay beauties uh, i love you to pieces uh probably like i said next week we will still do a recording in this house i'm going to pre-record it um and then the week after that you should see our new pad and i will try and get a video up for you um probably when we're probably when we've moved in because like i said they took the wi-fi off me um and i can't upload the one that i was hoping to that i took the other day um i might i might try again but i don't have much hope so um yeah i'll see if i can do it <laughs> all right guys love you lots take care stay blessed ciao